Have you ever wondered why nice guys seem to finish last and kindness gets you nowhere in dating? You are not alone in this frustration. Many believe that being nice is a disadvantage in the dating world, but why is this the case? It is essential to address this because understanding the dynamics can change how you approach dating altogether. By the end of this video, you will know the real reasons behind this phenomenon and how shifting your approach can make all the difference. Number 10. Seen as weak. Listen, there is a thin line between being genuinely nice and overdoing it to the point where it backfires. When you are always there, bending over backward and trying too hard to please, it doesn't scream confidence. Instead, it looks like you are desperate for approval, like you are not standing on your own two feet, but leaning on someone else's opinion of you. This doesn't just make you look weak, it practically shouts that you are unsure of yourself. Real strength is about knowing who you are and being confident in that, not chasing after someone's approval with every little thing you do. If you are always saying yes, agreeing with everything, and jumping at every chance to help in the hope that it will make her like you more, you are not showing strength. You are showing you don't have your own backbone. You must aim for respect, not pity. Be genuine, stand firm, and don't let desperation paint your actions. Women can smell desperation a mile away, and trust me, they don't find it attractive. They are drawn to confidence, to someone who knows their worth without needing constant validation. Number nine, they like bad attitudes. It seems counterintuitive, but not every woman is looking for the nice guy. There is something about a bit of a bad attitude that seems to draw them in. It is not about being disrespectful or mean. It is about the confidence and the mystery that often comes with those bad boy vibes. They are seen as a challenge, unpredictable, and exciting compared to the predictable niceness that doesn't always spark excitement. But liking a bad attitude doesn't mean you should flip the script and become disrespectful. You must find that balance. You can be confident without being arrogant and assertive without being aggressive. It is about having your own opinions, not just blindly agreeing with everything she says because you think it will make her like you more. The key is to be respectful, but don't be a pushover. Stand up for yourself, have your own interests, and don't be afraid to show your true colors. It is the confidence and the authenticity that's attractive, not the disrespect. Number eight, not rich or cool. Sometimes there is this idea floating around that if you are being super nice, it is because you are compensating for something else, like not being wealthy enough or not being the cool guy. It is as if being too nice is a cover-up for what you think are your shortcomings. And some women see through this and disrespect you for it. They think you are not being genuine, but rather trying to mask your insecurities. But your value isn't tied to your wealth or your cool factor. It is about being authentic, being yourself. If you are putting on the nice act to hide what you think are flaws, you are not being true to yourself. And that is what women will pick up on. The lack of authenticity not the lack of a fancy car or the latest fashion. In such scenarios, you need to stop trying to cover up. Be proud of who you are, rich as a rags, cool or quirky. Genuine confidence comes from accepting yourself, and that is what truly attracts others. It is not about the material things or trying to fit a mold. It is about being unapologetically you. That is what gets respect, not the facade of being too nice to hide behind. Number seven, nice guys finish last. You have heard it before, right? Nice guys finish last. It is a tough pill to swallow, but there is a grain of truth in it. Being nice is not the problem, but being so nice that you forget to put yourself first sometimes is. When you are always the one making compromises, always the one saying yes and never standing up for what you really want, people will start to take you for granted. It is like you are handing over the steering wheel of your life to someone else. Remember, there is a difference between being a good person and being so agreeable that you lose sight of your own needs and desires. And she totally disrespects you when you are the last one to finish. Number six, too clingy. Being clingy is a surefire way to make her disrespect you, and it is a trap that nice guys fall into. If you are always on call, always available, and your whole world revolves around her, it is not sweet, it is suffocating. Independence is attractive. Having your own life, friends, and hobbies makes you interesting. It shows you are someone with depth, not just waiting around for the next text or call. Give her space to miss you and show that you are confident enough to lead your own life. Clinginess screams insecurity, and that is not the vibe you want to give off. Number five, real men versus bad boys. 
The whole real men versus bad boys debate is about the attitude. Real men have the confidence to be themselves without putting on an act. They are strong, but not because they push others down. They are strong because they lift others up. They are genuine, not playing games or pretending to be someone they are not. On the flip side, bad boys might seem exciting with their carefree attitude and rebellious ways, but it is a facade hiding insecurities. Real strength is about knowing who you are and being unashamedly that person. It is about respect, integrity, and authenticity. Those are the qualities that truly matter to her, not the ability to play it cool or act tough. Number four, fake nice. When you are always on your best behavior, always smiling, always agreeing, she starts thinking you are faking it. She thinks that you are wearing a mask that says, I am the nicest guy you will ever meet, but it doesn't quite fit right. She starts to wonder, is this for real? Or is it just an act to win her over? Nobody wants to feel like they are being manipulated by kindness. It is like offering someone a gift with strings attached. It doesn't feel genuine. Real kindness doesn't look for applause or a reward. So if your niceness feels like a strategy rather than a genuine part of who you are, it is going to raise some red flags. Number three, you have weak boundaries. Being the go-to nice guy means your phone is buzzing at all hours, with everyone from friends to distant acquaintances asking for favors. Sure, it feels good to be needed, but not when it leaves you stretched thinner than a dollar store t-shirt. When you can't say no, it is like leaving your front door wide open with a sign that says free stuff. Everyone takes a piece and before you know it, there's nothing left for you. She sees this and it doesn't scream partner material. It screams, I can't stand up for myself. Not having boundaries is like telling the world you value everyone else's time and needs over your own. And honestly, that is not the kind of vibe that commands respect. If you don't guard your time and energy, you are setting yourself up for a one-way trip to Burnout City. And trust me, she will never respect someone who is running on empty. Number two, scared of being real. When you are too nice, it looks like you are scared to let your true self show. It is as if you are always hiding, never daring to step out and be real. This constant niceness can come off as you not being brave enough to be yourself, always playing it safe and sticking to what you think others want to hear. She doesn't like it. It makes her think you don't trust her enough to see the real you, and trust is everything. If you are always hiding, always scared to be genuine, it doesn't build a strong connection. It builds doubt. Number one, trying too hard. When it feels like you are putting in too much effort, it is like watching someone run a marathon in dress shoes. It is awkward, uncomfortable, and painfully obvious. When you try to be too nice, she thinks you are trying too hard and it screams desperation. She thinks you are not confident enough in what you naturally bring to the table, so you are overcompensating. But relationships aren't about putting on a show. They are about mutual respect, shared laughter, and genuine moments. If she thinks you are trying too hard, it is because she is craving that authenticity, that ease of being that comes when you are just being yourself, not when you want to be noticed. The irony is, the less you try to force it, the more attractive you become. Conclusion it is not really about being nice that is the problem. It is when being nice comes off as not being real, trying too hard, or not standing up for yourself. What really matters is being genuine, confident, and true to who you are. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.